Good morning, my friends. Welcome to this vinyasa flow. Today, we will move through a nice gentle flow to slowly warm up the body, and then we'll move into some stretching, ready to weigh the body up for the day ahead. So enjoy and follow along. Today, we will start by standing at the front of our mat, our feet hip width apart, bringing our palms together in Anjali Mudra at the center of our chest. And we'll start today by doing two rounds of Soya Namaskar A. And we'll inhale, press our palms together as we lift them above our head as we look up. And exhale, hinging at the hip, bending your knees, forward fold, releasing your hands, rounding your spine, tucking your chin. Inhale, halfway lift, your hands can be on your thighs or your shins, flat back, look forward. And exhale, forward fold, plant your hands, step your left foot back. As you inhale, dropping your hips, opening your chest and your heart. And exhale, pressing back to down dog. Inhale, bringing your left foot forward, sinking your hips, opening your chest and your heart. And exhale, lower your right knee, taking your hips back, left toes point to the sky. As you inhale, coming forward, halfway lift, flat back, look forward. And exhale, forward fold, round your spine, tucking your chin. Inhale, rise to standing, your hands to your heart, to heavens as you press your palms and look up. And exhale, straight back down, hinging at your hips, bending your knees. Forward fold, Uttanasana. And inhale, halfway lift, Adha Uttanasana. And exhale, planting your palms, this time taking your right foot back. As you inhale, sinking your hips, opening your chest, looking forward. And exhale, pressing back to down dog. And inhale, bringing your right foot between your hands, sinking your hips, looking forward. And exhale, lowering your left knee, taking your hips back. Right toes point to the sky. As you inhale, coming forward, Halfway lift, add a Uttanasana, flat back, look forward. And exhale, forward fold. And inhale, rise to standing, hands to your heart, to heavens as you press your palms, looking up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart in Samas Dtihi. Now we'll interlace our hands behind our back. As we inhale, take our arms away from us, opening our chest, looking up. And exhale, hinging at your hip, bending your knees, and bringing your thighs, bring your chest to meet your thighs even, and allowing your arms to go overhead. Try to keep your palms together if you can here, as this helps to keep your shoulders away from your ears. And if you're feeling open in the backs of your legs, you can start to straighten your legs, giving your hamstrings more of a stretch. But if you're feeling tight in your hamstrings or your lower back, then keep your knees bent and your chest on your thighs. And exhale, release your hands. As you inhale, bend your knees, sweep the floor, take your arms up above your head, keep your knees bent for chair pose, Utkatasana. And exhale, planting your palms on the ground, taking your hips to the sky for Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look forward. And exhale, plant your palms, stepping back to down dog. And then inhale, bringing your knees to the ground. In a tabletop position, and tucking your toes. Make sure here that your hips are above your knees, and your shoulders are above your wrists. And we'll move into a few rounds of cat and cow. So as you inhale, drop your stomach, your chest opens, you look forward. And exhale, pressing into the ground with your hands and your feet, rounding your spine, look at. Inhale, dropping your stomach, try to pull the floor towards you, opening your heart. And exhale, pressing into the ground, your chin and tailbone tuck, feel that openness in your back of your shoulders and your spine. And inhale, dropping your stomach, looking forward. 
and exhale, pressing into the ground. Chin and tailbone tuck. And inhale, coming back to a neutral position. And now from here, we're going to take our right leg out to the side. So your right foot wants to be in line with your right hip and your left knee. And then from here, we're going to come up onto our knee, bringing our hands together, pressing our palms above our head. As we exhale, take our right hand to our right leg and lean over to our right hand side, giving a nice stretch to our left hand side here. And just breathe into that left side body. And just go as far as it is comfortable for you. Don't try to overstretch here. Just keep breathing. And inhale, coming back to centre. Hands to meet above your head. And then exhale, bring your left hand to the ground. If you can't reach the ground, you can place it on a block or just hang wherever you can. And then lean over to your left hand side. Breathing into your right side body here. Creating a nice stretch. And inhale, coming back up. And exhale, taking your hands out in front and sinking your hips back. Just go as far as it's comfortable for you here for a, one, for a wide legged child pose. This might be really tight for some of you and that's okay. We are all getting the same stretch no matter how far back we go. Just do what's right for your body. Honour your body today. Just breathe through the tightness. Just inhale, coming back up. Bring your right leg back in. Your knees are hip width apart. Hips over knees again, your shoulders over your wrists. And take your left leg out to the side now. So your left foot is in line with your left hip and your right knee. And just inhale, slowly coming up. Bring your hands to your heart and above your head, pressing your palms together. As you exhale, take your left hand to your left leg and lean over to your left hand side, breathing into your right side body here. Again, just honour your body. Just breathe. Move to where it is comfortable for you. And inhale, coming back up, hands meet at the top. And exhale, taking your right hand to the ground or to a block, or just hang as far as you can, and your left arm overhead, breathing into your left side body now. And inhale, coming back up, arms above your head, and exhale, taking your arms out in front, as you sink your hips back to your right heel, for a wide-legged child's pose. One side might be completely different to the other, and that's okay. Just move wherever it is comfortable for your body. Just keep breathing. Just inhale, slowly coming back up. Bringing your left leg back in. Take both knees as wide as your mat now, big toes to touch. Walking your hands out in front, sinking your hips back to your heels. And allow your forehead to rest on the ground for child's pose, balasana. And just breathe here, breathing into your back. Lengthening your spine, stretching your back. On the next inhale, slowly make your way back up. And come onto your sitting bones, taking your legs out long, as wide as it is comfortable for you. 
you might need to have a little jiggle around to get on top of your sit bones here and your legs wide you can inhale take your arms above your head and then exhale hinge at your hips you can take your arms out in front we're welcome to hold on to your your shins your ankles or your feet but upa vista kanasana keeping your spine nice and long here looking down at the ground to keep your neck nice and long Just breathe into the tightness, keeping both ankles flexed here, toes point to the sky. Exhale, just release. As you inhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, bringing both legs together. You might need to shift forward on your mat if you're towards the back. And then just with nice control, Come to a lying down position, a little bit of work here for the core. Then just bring your right knee into your chest, giving it a squeeze. And take your right knee to your left hand side, your right arm out to a T. And you're welcome to stay here in this recline twist. Or if you have the range, you can straighten your right leg and grab the outside of your right foot with your left hand. If you do have this, and you can straighten your right leg, try to get your right hip and drive it towards the front of your mat. Then you should feel more of a stretch in your right glute and the outside of your right thigh. And if it's comfortable for you, you can look over your right shoulder. And if you want more of a stretch, you can bend your left leg. You can grab the top of your left foot and bring it in towards your buttocks, stretching your left quadricep here. Whichever variation you're in, that's okay. Just on your body this morning. And just exhale, just gently release, straightening your left leg. Bringing your right knee into your chest, giving it a little squeeze. And switching legs so your right leg out long. And your left knee into your chest. Just square off your body if you need to, if you're a bit out of the line. And then take your left knee to your right hand side. Your left arm out long. And if you have the range, you can straighten your left leg. Grabbing the outside of your left foot with your right hand. And if you manage to straighten your left leg here, you can start to drive your left hip towards the front of your mat. And if you get a nice stretch in your left glute and the outside of your left thigh. You're welcome to look over your left shoulder if it's comfortable. And if you want to stretch your right glute, you can bend your right knee grabbing the top of your right foot and just pulling that foot in towards your buttocks. There's a lot going on in this posture. The recline twist, quad stretch, glute stretch. And exhale, just gently release. Taking your right leg out long, bringing your left knee into your chest, giving it a squeeze. And bring your right knee in to meet it, giving them both a squeeze and a gentle rock from side to side. And grabbing the backs of your thighs now, and start to roll up and down your spine a few times. Just waking up the spine, just waking up the body a little bit now. And then come up to a seated position, your cross-legged position in front of your mat. And you can softly close down your eyes, bring your palms together in the centre of your chest in Anjali Mudra. And just take a moment of gratitude for showing up on your mat this morning. 
raising your hands to your head, the kindness in your thoughts towards yourself and others, hands to your heart for kindness in your actions, and hands to your lips for kindness in your words. From my heart to yours, Namaste. Awesome, my friends. Thank you for practicing along. Hopefully you feel nice and warm and your body's open, ready for the day ahead. Thanks for practicing with me, Jamie from True Nature.